I want to show you a very simple example of how to use analytical accounting. I'm going to set it up, I'm going to process a transaction, and then I'm going to look at some of the reporting. The first thing you need to do is set up dimensions. To do that, we'll go to Cards, Financial, Analytical Accounting. You can see the menu there, and we'll go into Dimensions. By using dimensions, you can set up a hierarchy of how you're going to apply additional values to transactions you process in GP. For this example, I have two dimensions. One is a show. A show is a show put on by the San Diego Symphony, and I set up codes which are real values that are used to recognize different shows that the symphony shows throughout the year. Additionally, I set up a dimension called a program. Now, this is a higher level dimension. It incorporates the shows. Let's take a look at that. And you can see the codes that I set up for the programs. So in my example, every program has a number of shows in it. And I set up a validation to show for which programs, which shows were valid. And let's take a look at that. So you can see for the Winter Pops, for example, I have one show that's valid. For Summer Pops, I've got a, a number of shows. So let's take a look at how this looks in a transaction. To do that, I'm going to enter a payables transaction. Let's enter that quickly here. What I'm going to do then is look at my distributions. In my system, I set up the analytical accounting functionality to be valid for this particular account. In fact, all the P&L accounts. So I select the distribution I want to add additional information to and hit this icon up here. It brings up this window. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to allocate this $4,000 to different programs and shows. So I'm going to take half of this and allocate it to this program and this show. Now I can have as many distributions or allocations as I want to. And I'm just going to allocate the remaining piece to a program and a different show. So now what I've done effectively is I've taken that $4,000 and I've allocated it between two sets of programs and shows. So if I want to, I can validate that. And I'll go through and look at all the rules. And then I'm going to hit OK. And hit OK to here. At this point, I can post it or save it and post it later. I'm just going to save it for the time being. Now let's take a look at the reporting. I prefer to use FRX to report from analytical accounting. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to generate a report here. It's going to go look at that data that I've entered previously for this particular set of dimensions. I'm going to select some pops here. And you can see that it's using the reporting tree aspect of FRX to show me those dimensions. And here's the result. Now, I prefer this because it shows the expenses here. It shows my dimensions across the top. And this is really an easy reporting tool. Now, analytical accounting comes with an inquiry tool, but you know, I find it hard to use, and I really prefer FRX. So if you're looking for a quick way to add additional information to your GP transactions, you should really take a look at analytical accounting.